night spots and the best possible place to start all that from is the Singapore Flyer. The world's largest giant observation wheel at 165 meters above sea level. That's, That's 40 stories. Really? Yeah. 40 plus. 40 plus stories. So there's 28 of these capsules. They can take 28 people in each. You do the match. That's a lot of people and a lot of capsules. What we also got over here is you can take this whole capsule for your personal use with oh. a special someone. I can take um, it home? No, you can hire the whole thing for yourself. Okay. Because it won't be that, the view won't be that good if you take it home. You can hire out this whole capsule for a measly sum of 2,000 Singapore dollars and they'll throw in lots of goodie stuff. That's what, 70 plus thousand rupees. <laughs> That's worth the view. Look at the view. I mean, this is phenomenal. What we also got is a champagne flight. So you can choose to get on. You can have champagne, chocolates and strawberries, which is always a good option. You can have corporate packages, which you're not interested in. And you can have the signature cocktail, which is this baby right here. So if you really want to live it up in style, you should be cocktailing at 165 meters, ching chin old leg. This is a good way to get high before you even start your drinks. And when you're this high, you can... That's the stars, that's the stars, that's the stars, that's the stars. No, oh, we're stars? Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. When you're this high, you're everything. Incidentally, do you know that you can also see Indonesia way out there in the distance? Really? Yes. Well, you can see Singapore right here. Where? <laughs> <laughs> While the rest of you think about the view, we're going to stand here, sip our cocktails and take a look at it. How did you get a full glass? It's magic when you're this high up in the sky, anything can happen. And you're a star. I'm a star. Touch the star. Do touch I get star. one as well? Touch the stars. Touch. Can I get a glass full? Do I qualify as a star as well? Old son, you have a whole system revolving around you. I will get you three glasses if you so desire. Really? Yes. Well, it pays to have friends in high places. If you don't drink alcohol, you can always come up here for tea or for high tea. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. We're so high, na? <laughs> Oops. That was the last straw. And I seem to have broken it. <laughs> the night is young and so are we. Let the party begin. From a fabulous view up from the Singapore Flyer to an even more fabulous view, especially when it's got beautiful antiques photographs and little knickknacks like this. We are in the restaurant that Krish built and right next to me is Nikhil Krishnan. This is a place that he made so that he could have a lot of fun. And it probably comes from the fact that he used to sell drugs before he started this restaurant. Which is normally not fun, especially when the cops catch up with you. <laughs> yeah, but in this case, let me just clarify, he was into pharmaceuticals before this. Yeah, so I was in Melbourne very briefly, and then uh, I decided to change my trade and do this. So Krish's place is called... Krish. Surprise! You guessed it. <laughs> And what kind of food are you doing here, Chris? Because that looks really nice and it smells very good, I can tell you that. Uh, we tried to just do something fun with fusion, with Indian flavors and stuff, and try and use French cuisine and try and embed the two and see what we can come up with. Wow, so it's just like everything else in Singapore, right now we've got Southeast Asian, Indian, we've got French. Yep, that's right. And I believe you have an American chef. Yes, we have an American chef too. 